Hey there YouTubers and welcome to another episode of Odd and Old Tech. Today we're going to be looking at a tape drive. Uh, I have two here but we're going to focus on the Sony AIT2 Turbo. Now there are some advantages with tape but there are also some disadvantages just like there are with hard drives, uh, USBs and other type of uh, storage mediums. So uh, an advantage of tape at least that I feel uh, strongly with is its reliability and its redundancy, uh, you know, the fact that it can be used as a redundancy for a backup system. And what I mean by that is you can have your backup on a hard drive or a USB or any type of uh, storage medium like that, but for redundancy reasons you have a backup of a backup. So you have a backup of your hard drive backup, if that, hopefully that makes sense. And the reason I say that is, is tape is, uh, is reliable and tape is cheap. So you have your tape drive and then you can have as many cartridges as you need. And also, if the tape drive ever fails, I've still got the tape. I can just replace the drive. Or if the tape fails and I still have the hard drive backup, I can just replace the tape. So if the mechanics in here ever fail or anything like that, I can rest assured I still have the tape. Whereas on a hard drive, if the hard drive fails, that's it, it's gone. All, all that data on there is potentially lost. Uh, I may have to spend loads of money trying to get it recovered by uh, a professional who would you know, do, do a deep level uh, recovery, but why should I have to worry about that when I've got the tape? And I can just replace the whole drive and uh, that's that. So that's my opinion on why tape is uh, mainly useful. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show how I do my backups and uh, hopefully it's of some use and gives you a bit of an insight into how and why uh, a tape system is, uh, is useful for your backup environment. Um, just to clear it, just to clear it up now that this is my own opinion this is my system. If, if you want to swear by your hard disks or your USBs or your network cloud storage, that's absolutely fine. Everyone has their own system. As I say, this is just a bit of an insight into someone who uses tape drives and why I believe that they are good as an archive uh, slash redundancy system uh, to, be part of my, uh, to be part of my backup cycle, basically. So let's get into it. So I have my Mac and it's running some tape backup software and this is what I've been using for quite a few years now. The uh, It's called Brew LE. Let me just uh, set the focus there. I've set it on manual. Let me just... Uh, there we go. So it's Brew LE and this is the last version that Tolis ever created, at least of this version of the software. I'm surprised it runs on uh, my version of Mac OS. I'm running 10.9 Point five. Uh, this will run all the way up to 10.10 .10. uh, when you get to um, when you get to El Capitan and uh, uh, further up from that this software doesn't work due to how it recognizes the uh, version number and it will just uh, it will just fail basically so uh, I'm quite happy running it on this and uh, it works well so I've got a bit of a sample backup waiting to be done. I've got two folders and a file and uh, the tape drive already has a tape in it. So uh, let's have a look at the software itself before we actually do anything. You get a few functions. Uh, you can automatically verify the backup when it's done. Uh, you can backup network drives if this is unticked, but I don't really need to do that. Uh, there are different options. Uh, you can do a full backup, which will always back up everything in this window. Or you can have a backup definition, uh, which is a pre-saved uh, backup cycle. And then you can uh, change this to incremental, and then you can select which definition to base it off of, or you can select differential, etc. But for this one, we're going to do a full backup. I will leave a link in the uh, video description of the difference between an, inf uh, an incremental and differential backup because there are some crucial differences here uh, but we just need to do a full backup right now. Uh, the restore tab is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, these are all the tape backups I've ever done. As you can see I've done a few tests already. 
uh, and stuff like that um, that I just haven't deleted yet really um, so I can restore I can select I can even select which files to restore so if I go to a uh, let me see here we go uh, I can select separate files if I like I don't have to restore the full backup all the time uh, I don't really use that if I need to restore the backup I usually do the whole backup so I don't really need to do separate files but the functionality is there um, I can restore to a different location one thing to note about tape is it will always try and restore to the exact same path that you backed it up from so if I was to restore it and not tick this box it would try and restore to the hard drive called file server disk then a folder called data tape etc 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 so I always restore it to a different location so I can be sure that um, the file is being restored how I want it to be uh, or the backup in this case um, I can have a I can have it verify the backup if I didn't already do so uh, I have two options here I can do a checksum or a comparison um, I can even import tapes that I haven't um, that I've done on another computer but aren't sort of in this system yet uh, that have been used with the same software of course um, I can set a schedule but I don't do that uh, I remember to do it at the end of the month so I don't need none of that there um, and then I've got some basic setup tools like rewind, unload, I can erase the tape if I like and I've got drive status it tells me what block the tape is currently at um, the software does seem to have a bit of a glitch it never seems to report the block size properly it always says zero but uh, when I've had to back up to the drive and restore then uh, I've not had a problem but speaking of block size that actually does matter uh, the manufacturer manufacturers of tape drives do have a recommended block size so for the AIT2 Turbo you should just be able to see it uh, it's 200 and 56 kilobytes per block uh, and basically tape uh, data is written to tape similarly to how a hard disk writes its data um, it writes it a hard disk writes data in sectors whereas a tape writes it in blocks and each size of the block is determined by the software so in this case it's already set to 256k and so that's what the drive will use there's an option for a tape library but I don't have a massive tape library and this software only supports five slots I think from what I remember and then you have to like pay extra to unlock the rest but uh, I don't need that so I didn't bother so let's get on with a sample backup so there's a tape in the drive already and we are ready to go I'm gonna tell it to eject after the backup is done uh, as well as backing up to tape the software will also let you do a image file so I can select it I can select a file if I like and just save it uh, as a file uh, so that's that's nice if uh, if I ever need to use that uh, as I say no library so I can't select that so uh, let's go it's just gonna rewind the tape now the software will always rewind the tape because at the beginning of every tape uh, regardless of the backup software you're using the software will write a header some header information to the tape and that tells the software what's on the tape where it is uh, think of it like a file allocation table but for a tape so and the header of the tape says basically tells the software this is how many backups are on there this is what files are where and what block number they're at etc so when you're backing up to tape it will always rewind and uh, in a second you'll see um, there we go, it's going to read the header now and it's going to see what's already on the tape. And because the software has detected that there is data already there, it's asking if I want to overwrite or append. Um, if, there, if the tape was blank, uh, it would just say overwrite. Um, but in this case, there is data already there, there is a backup I've already done. So I'm just going to type in test tape. Ooh. Okay, and I've asked it to estimate the job. And there's a reason for that, as uh, I will explain in a moment. So the tape is now going to fast forward 
all the way to the end of the last backup. And you'll uh, hear it whirring away there. So we'll just wait for the tape to fast forward to where it's supposed to be. Okay, so we can see here that the files, so this folder, this file, and this folder, all equals 248 megabytes. And uh, I'll, sh I'll show you how that is actually wrong. It tells me how much the files are, yes. But let's see, if I press OK, as you can see, it actually says 260 megabytes. And the reason for that is that's how much tape it's going to use. It's going to use 260 megabytes worth of tape just to store... 240 megabytes worth of files. So we'll let the backup happen. As you see, here's the total progress, and there we go, it's pretty much finished. And now it's going to rewind back to the, the first block of this backup. And now it's going to verify it and make sure that all the data is there. There we go, and it's finished successfully, so I just press close. And it just gives me a little bit of a log to say what's on the tape and the ID number it's given it, but I don't need to worry about that because in the restore tab it will be called test tape. Woo! <laughs> so I can just press OK and now it's going to eject it for me. So it's going to rewind the tape all the way to the beginning and then it's going to eject the tape. So uh, that's pretty much all there is for this video. Uh, as I say, tape drives have their advantages, but they have their disadvantages as well, uh, just like a hard drive would, I guess, or any sort of storage medium. So uh, I hope this has been a good um, insight into uh, if you've ever been wondering, you know, what, what a uh, tape drive is uh, could be useful from at least my perspective. Uh, as I say, I'm sure somebody's going to swear by their uh, hard drives or their USBs or whatever. But uh, this was just to uh, share uh, my backup system and uh, I hope it's been of some use to you. So thanks for watching.